Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Morton Power here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a powerful day and today um, I've been thinking about making this video for quite some time since uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare was announced Actually, I was thinking about doing this video way before they announced it just because uh, This is something that I feel needs to be said and uh, you can probably already tell by the thumbnail and the title But this is going to be everything that we need not that we want that we need for Call of Duty Modern Warfare Alrighty guys, so to start out the video, I want to talk about the campaign now We took a break from having a campaign mode uh, this past year in Black Ops 4 so that they could introduce um, their take on the Battle Royale genre, which they did a decent job at, but this is not for this video. We'll talk about that in another video. But the campaign, the story mode, it's what drives the character focus of the game. Now, for Modern Warfare's campaign to be successful, to be able to last through the life cycle, we need a great story first and foremost we've got to have something that can capture the attention and grasp the interest of the the audience we need that to be a staple the foundation of the campaign for modern warfare now next off i want to talk about we're going to keep on to the campaign we need replay ability now the campaign usually is you play through it once and you're done there's maybe some like alternate endings and stuff like that but what i mean is we need add-ons like seasonal add-ons to the to the campaign like how we have dlc for multiplayer we need additional content for campaign now i know that's a tall task I know that's asking a lot, but I believe if they add two character missions every couple of months, they can actually have a campaign mode that withstands the the life cycle. And it's not just you play the, the campaign for a couple of days and then you're done. And that also benefits YouTubers like myself so that we can you know have more content to make for you guys because a lot of people love seeing let's plays of call of duty campaigns Alrighty, next we're going to move into the multiplayer aspect of call of duty now this year multiplayer was atrocious and i know i said uh, we're not going to talk about um, much of the game from this past year, but I just had to say multiplayer was atrocious. Um, literally, like the DLC cycle, everything was so messed up. So we need, first and foremost, well-designed maps. Now, Treyarch, to their credit, they have some really well-designed maps, but the last couple of games that Infinity Ward has put out, i.e. Infinite Warfare and Ghost, um, which I know I'm going to catch the flag for Ghost, but they were bland. They were dark. It was grays. It was blacks. And that's not appealing to the eyes. Now, we're in a modern setting for Modern Warfare. Let's get some color. Let's get some vibrance to these maps let's get some you know bring out like the the beauty that is nature that we have in this modern time and i feel as if they they do that they implement that into the maps in black or in modern warfare then we're in for um, a good experience uh visually now next thing we need to talk about is the gunplay um, one thing that I had an issue with with Black Ops 4 is the gunplay was not um, not where it needed to be. When the game first came out, and it's still kind of this way, they've, they've tweaked and tuned since then. But right away, 
the SMGs were terrible. Like you were getting gunned at short ranges by assault rifles and tactical assault rifles. And submachine guns are supposed to be that bridge between the shotguns, like the immediate like breathing on you distance to like your like your talking distance, like standing from like in between like a room, you know, something within you, you know, you know what I mean? Like the classic gun feel of Call of Duty. Now, I feel that like the shotguns should ultimately be, and I think they need to go back to being primary weapons. Um, I didn't like the fact that your shotguns were secondary weapons. Um, that's probably going to be disputed by people in the comment section, but that's just my opinion. I enjoyed going in and being able to one shot somebody uh, if you hit them in the upper chest and head uh, but now it's two shots because you know there were secondary weapons SMG should be that short to medium range like that's where they should they should flourish and not struggle they should be the dominant feature of that mid that short to mid range gunfight and then your assault rifles should be your long range, you know, like hand to hand combat. And then your snipers obviously are your, you know, like super, super long range or your trick shotters that'll barrel stuff you. The gunplay has to be balanced for this game to succeed. Now there's a large pool of weapons that they can bring back to the game. There's a lot, there's a lot of weapons they can, you know, add to the game, um, things like that. Some like modern weapons for this day and age that they can add to the game but gunplay has got to be a key factor in this game all right the next thing i want to talk about is the content cycle we need an established content cycle now call of duty has always had a dlc cycle but this year they said it's not going to be a traditional dlc cycle now what we were supposed to get was more content f more frequently and that just never happened we ended up getting less content than we would normally have gotten but it's spread out more so there's a lot more dead periods throughout the title and the next thing i want to talk about along with the content cycle is being transparent now i understand that treyarch going into black ops 4 had the content cycle that they wanted to do but they weren't transparent with the audience now if we're gonna get a different cycle instead of the every three months getting a dlc pack with four multiplayer maps a zombies experience new guns whatever then be transparent on how that's gonna work because we never got oh hey we're gonna give you guys every uh, operation we're gonna give you two new maps blah, blah 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 and and that and there's gonna be just there's gonna be more uh seasons or more operations throughout the life cycle set us give us an infographic say that we're gonna get two new maps every couple of months you know so that we know what we're gonna get when we're getting it so that we're not waiting and another thing that they need to be transparent about is if you make a statement that a new weapon is going to be coming into the game during an operation or a DLC cycle or whatnot. Be transparent if you don't bring that gun to when you're when you said you were going to. Be transparent with your community about what's going on. Like in my last video commentary video i talked about the vendetta sniper rifle we were supposed to get that in the last operation and we never got it there was no oh hey um we're delayed on it it's gonna be in the next operation um stick tight with us and that's that and that's wrong man you're getting people's hopes up you have a community of snipers that were really looking forward to the sniper rifle and you made them wait a an entire an entire operation and then make it the tier 50 reward when 
that came out for this or no they made them wait a operation and a half to be able to get the sniper rifle so i don't know i'm just i i'm big on transparency and communication is key in any relationship whether it be a developer and gamer consumer you know relationship or if it's like a real life relationship uh but transparency has got to be a key factor moving forward in call of duty now the next thing and this is a big thing this is probably what we're gonna wrap up on is um your microtransaction cycle now i understand that your game that you you know your game is not free to play so why are there an abundance of microtransactions i get with fortnite and i get with apex they're all free to play games and the way they make their money is through microtransactions and their microtransactions are transparent you know what you're getting when you spend your money but with activision they're like Oh, there's some really cool guns that we're gonna be bringing out these the community is gonna be really excited that we're bringing the peacekeeper back that we're bringing the locust back these are all fan favorite guns but they're locked away in reserves that you have to grind a lot to get I grinded for half a season and granted I ended up getting a uh, like a two times tier boost um but the majority you're it's taking you a lot it takes you a while to grind to get these reserves and not a lot of people that have full-time jobs that aren't full-time content creators can sit there and grind the game for eight hours a day people come home and they they get on the game for maybe two three hours at a time and what are they getting two or three you know reserve crates that honestly are 90% filler items, 10% actual stuff that you would want. Now, if you're going to do the reserves or like the weapon bribes and stuff like that, please, for the love of all things, do not fill the reserves or whatever kind of crates you're going to do with filler crap like your stickers your gestures your outfits your camos like useless junk that 95 percent of the community doesn't even use like i can tell you right now the death effects that i have i don't even have them equipped to my characters i don't have half the stuff that is in these reserves equipped to my game and it's just frustrating that I don't like reserves at all so don't don't take me saying that as I, that I like reserves I do not like reserves I have a solution for how the the trans, the microtransactions should go actually not microtransactions at all I think and you know I know we're getting these soon but they're contracts like we should be getting ways to earn weapons you should not have to spend money on weapons especially ones that are stat changing and are overpowered and activision knows this it's not like oh we didn't know that there it was an accident that there were no they knew that these were overpowered when they put them in the reserves so moving forward we need to not have weapons locked behind a paywall do your cosmetics behind a paywall make really really good cosmetics and just make sure that because it's it's getting it's getting rough for people spending sixty dollars actually no they're probably spending you know like me i i buy the the you know the highest tier game possible because i want you know all the content uh that comes with it and it's just it's frustrating to me that i have to spend so much money on that and then to get the guns that i want like the new guns you have to spend a lot of money for a chance to get them like you're not even guaranteed to get the weapons that's 
that's that's the sad thing is you can spend a thousand dollars which i hope you're not spending a thousand dollars on uh supply drops or reserve crates trying to get these weapons because 90 percent chance you're not gonna get them because of all like i said the filler crap that is in the lottery pool that you have to choose from it's like playing the lottery just with a lower chance of of hitting the jackpot um, and I know I said that was going to be the last thing, but I'm going to touch on something else really quickly. If you're going to do a season pass, actually give your, the people that spend the money on your season pass content, give them, do it like infinite warfare. And I hate that game, but do it like infinite warfare, black ops two. If you bought the DLC or the, or the season pass, if you institute a new weapon, the people who bought that pass should have the rights to those weapons plain and simple it is so frustrating that you spend $60 on a season pass and you get robbed it's highway robbery but that's gonna do it for the video guys I don't want to get too long I'm already on probably like a 16 minute video as it is but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section things that you would like to see in Call of Duty Modern Warfare or in Call of Duty going forward. Because if we're going to save the... If the franchise is going to be saved, there's got to be changes made. But that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.